Hello and welcome to Incredible Inverts and Other Animals with me, Phil. Now firstly, a massive thank you to all those who watched my previous videos, have given me a like, a comment, subscribed, hit the bell, thanks a lot, that means so much. Now today we're going to have a look at one of my most aggressive predators that I keep in my private collection, the Tiger Leg Centipede or Scolopendra Hainanum. Okay, so here we have the Tiger Leg Centipede or Scolopendra Hainanum. Now this is a fairly large species of Scolopendra that originates from China and only recently was actually given the name Hainanum, only in 2012 was it actually uh, given that name, before then it was known as a different species. So before 2012 it was considered to be part of the Scolopendra subsnipes until it was uh, put into its own separate species, the uh, Hainanum. The Scolopendras are fairly aggressive predators and this species is no exception and it can take down anything that it can overpower, which can include small mammals, small reptiles and amphibians, so, and also large insects. Now there are some species of Scolopendra that will take down bats in the wild, uh, but this species doesn't quite do that. Now here we can see how gentle a Scolopendra can be, cleaning its antennae there with its mouth parts. But you can also hopefully see next to its head what looks like a fang. So that's not actually a fang, that's actually a modified leg, which they use like a fang, so that is their way of delivering the venom. So, so it's not even part of the mouth, but it's using its mouth parts there, they hopefully just see moving to clean this antenna and make sure they're clean, they are a vital sensory organ for them. But they have these modified legs either side of their head, which is part of the uh, first segment behind the head. I say as a fang or as two fangs which they use to deliver their venom but like I said they are actually legs. Now here we can see it moving around hopefully you'll be able to see that it has one pair of legs per segment of the body whereas millipedes which sometimes people confuse centipedes and millipedes millipedes have two pairs of legs per segment of the body so it's always a great way to uh, to be able to identify whether something is a centipede or a millipede. If it's got two pairs of legs, it's a millipede. One pair of legs per segment, it's a centipede. And if it's a centipede, it's best not to touch it. But the chances are it's going to be venomous and could be fairly aggressive. Hopefully it's easy to see why we call this one the tiger leg centipede with that orange and black barring on the legs. But it can be quite varied between individuals. Sometimes they can be fairly mottled, uh, which then could be easily confused with other species. And the bright colours on the legs can serve as a warning to potential predators of the centipede. So the bright colours are what we call startle coloration. And that can warn other animals that these guys are highly venomous. Can warn them of if they were poisonous as well. So these bright colours are a way of deterring other predators from potentially making a meal of the centipede. So, but if a predator was to try and take these guys, they can pack up a fair fight. They will certainly uh, try and defend themselves. Now centipede mothers are exceptional parents. So the female uh, centipede, when uh, she is gravid with eggs, she'll lay a ball of eggs and keep those on a tight ball in her legs and she'll clean those eggs every day to make sure that they are in tip top condition and when they hatch out the little peedlings, that's our name for a baby centipede they again they will stay in a ball and she will protect those peedlings until they go through their first or two molts and they then disperse off and then fend for themselves ok well I hope you enjoyed having a look at the uh, tiger leg centipede so, Hope you agree, it's an absolutely fantastic and beautiful animal, um, although they can be, like I say, very, very aggressive, so, so they're not to be underestimated. So, But, as I say, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like, please uh, drop down a comment, please subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and join me again when we'll have another look at an incredible invert or other animal. Bye-bye.